Welcome everyone. There's some new faces here, so just want to say welcome if you haven't been to the Wellness Center before. Um, my business is Spirit of Health. Uh, Angel with Natural High Wellness Center is also here. She's a certified colon hydrotherapist. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I have a health food store. The motto behind the store is as close to the way God created it as possible because there's a lot of synthetics, a lot of isolates, a lot of junk in health food stores today. And I have only the best straight from nature products, which is what I believe actually works in the body and works in healing people. Uh, we have a couple mottos I go by at Spirit of Health. One is the spirit of health is in you. I believe that everybody has the uh, ability to take control of their own health and achieve vibrant dynamic health and not have to be reliant on doctors, unless of course it's an emergency situation, but we should be in control of our own bodies and our own health, and usually it just takes some good education to do that. The other thing I like to say is we love God, we love people, and we love health. So the class tonight is on enzymes, which I'm excited because this is like my favorite subject in the world. So um, we're going to really dive into how important enzymes are and understanding how key they are to health and anti-aging and longevity. And it's really one of the foundation principles you need to understand uh, to achieve good health and to achieve uh, a long, healthy life. And as always, ask questions as we go. Uh, if something, you know, if you have a question, just throw your hand up and, and we'll take care of it right away. So, first of all, what are enzymes? And by the way, there's a lot of really good books on enzymes. This is a good book right here. Um, I'll leave it up here if anyone wants to check it out and look at it, but it, it does a really good job of describing enzymes and all the different health conditions that, that enzymes help with. So enzymes aren't actually living uh, material. They're actually proteins. They're sets of amino acids that serve different functions in the body. Okay? Um, they're catalysts is a good way to look at it. They're what make other things happen in the body. Um, Hey, I just said that. Catalysts that make things happen in the body. They, uh, they basically continue to perform enzymic reactions until they're used up, until their life force is basically used up. And then the body either has to produce more, or we have to get more from our foods, or we have to take supplements, because um, there's different uh, organs in the body that produce enzymes. But what's important to understand about this and what their function is, is that they don't work by themselves. Just like vitamins don't work by themselves, just like minerals don't work by themselves, um, it takes a cohesive effort of these things working synergistically together. Okay, so in other words, you can take all the enzymes in the world, but if you're mineral deficient and you're vitamin deficient, you're not gonna get the, great benefit, the same benefit. Just like uh, people are so focused on vitamins these days, you know, people go to the store to buy vitamins, right? And they're buying vitamin C and vitamin D. And they got a B complex and they're getting vitamin K because now they heard that's good for the bones. And, you know, they're buying all these vitamins, but we really forget about the key, which I think vitamins are third on the list when it comes to the, the, the trilogy of enzymes, minerals, and vitamins. Enzymes and minerals are far, far more important than vitamins in the body and for that, that basic so, function of life. Yes? How would you differentiate between an enzyme and protein? And, and vitamins? Uh -huh. Well, like I said, they're just they're different structures that work in the body. You know, enzymes are are protein structures that make vitamins work. That makes the vitamin D, uh, you know, absorb right. calcium into the bone. Calcium that you know, it, it's a catalyst that makes the vitamins work. That makes the minerals get into the cells, and you know, makes the different functions happen in the body. Makes your eye blink. Makes you so you can lift your arm. That's all enzymic reactions that are happening in the body. So are we taking enzymes on a regular basis from the regular food we take? Well, we'll, we'll get into that. Oh, okay. Yep. So the history of enzymes is pretty fascinating. Enzymes have been, now of course they didn't know what they were, but cultures around the world discovered foods that had amazing healing properties. And some of the foods are the foods we now know that contain high enzyme content. Um, and the four main ones, you know, a lot of us have probably heard about the papayas and the pineapples. That's where the bromelain and the papain enzymes come from. Uh, fig tree sap and aloe were the other ones that the ancient cultures used for wound healing, for inflammation, for joint pain, for headaches. And they knew they had these amazing properties. Now, of course, they didn't know it was enzymes. You know, that you know, it took science later to discover what that was. But they used these foods for many purposes 
even as it says worm infections, um, you know, for these different purposes. Well, the enzymes were actually discovered in uh, 1920s by Dr. Max Wolf, and this is a fascinating story. This is a guy who was born in Vienna, Austria. A uh, brilliant, brilliant man. When he was right about 30 years old, he came over to the United States. And he went to Fordham University and he became a doctor. And I put from babies to protein to a lifetime study of enzymes. And that doesn't even scratch the surface of what this guy's done. But he became a doctor. He delivered over 4,000 babies personally. Then he got into studying proteins, vegetables, and bacteria. And he basically found a way to concentrate protein in a cheap and affordable way. And he actually sold that uh, patent, that information, to Mahatma Gandhi so he could help feed thousands of people really cheap. Then he went on to study enzymes. And he dedicated the rest of his life to studying enzymes because what he discovered was so fascinating he had to dedicate the rest of his life to studying enzymes. He was studying cancer, and he was specific, specifically looking at pancreatic cancer. And what he found in these cancer patients were these people were no longer producing enzymes through their pancreas. And he noted this through blood work and you know some other tests he'd run. But the bottom line was is the pancreas was no longer producing enzymes. So what he did is he took uh, enzymes from a sheep's pancreas. From it? A sheep and he gave it to the person and in every case the cancer completely reversed so he's like okay there's something something special going on here so based on that information that discovery that's kind of when the the study of enzymes just blew up um, yes so when the pancreas makes enzymes are there other organs that make enzymes yes yeah and we'll talk about that but the, the liver the intestinal tract yeah, there's, there, you know, your saliva has a lot of enzymes in it, you know, when, when it comes to digestion. So, yeah, there's, there's other places. But the pancreas is one of the most important ones for producing uh, a lot of your enzymes. And <clears throat> something else I like to mention, this isn't new. You know, a lot of people, when, they, when, they, when you talk about natural health or especially mention something to, a, like, a current medical doctor, you know, you mention you're taking enzymes and they'll say, oh, that's crazy or whatever, just because they don't know about it. But so much of this information, I mean, 1920s, this stuff has been researched for 80 plus years. And if you look at enzymes, it's one of the most studied things throughout the entire world. You will find thousands and thousands of research studies, well-documented, well-done research studies done at major universities all around the world on the benefits of enzymes. So this isn't something new. And if you tell your doctor he's taking enzymes, then if he's not educated about it, he should be. So just some examples to help you kind of understand what enzymes are and what enzymes do. Green bananas turning yellow, fruit ripening, okay? That's the action of enzymes. Seedlings growing, okay? An easy test is you can take, buy a package of seeds, okay? If you plant them in the ground, they sprout and they grow, right? If you take some of those seeds, you put them in the microwave for 10 seconds, and then you plant them, They'll never grow in a million years because it completely destroys the food, the enzyme content, and everything in that and in that seed. That's an easy test for for those of you that are still on the fence on whether microwaves are dangerous or not. <clears throat> Another good example: a dog goes and buries a bone. He gets a fresh bone. He goes and buries it. After it's under the ground for like a month, he'll dig it up and he can chew it up and eat it because enzymes have started to break down that bone. So in other words, you're saying the soil has enzymes? Right. And that's yep. what comes to the fruits and the Yeah, and that's the natural process of uh, anything ripening, and then as it falls on the ground and it rots and it ferments, uh -huh. that's all enzymes that, that break those foods down. So in other words, anything which is growing under the ground, like potatoes and sweet potatoes, they all have enzymes? They all contain enzymes, absolutely. Okay. Yep, it's essential for all life. Exactly. Anything living is going to contain enzymes. Um, and just as we already mentioned, enzymes don't function by themselves. Like a car sitting in a garage, if it doesn't have gas, it's not going to go. Same with enzymes. You've got to have your vitamins, you've got to have minerals. They all work synergistically together. It's important to, important to understand. That's why a lot of times, 
you know, you've heard about people saying, oh, they took a vitamin or they took a supplement that doesn't work for them. I mean, there's just so many factors involved. But, you know, one of the reasons is, is, you know, if they're missing other areas of their health, you know, if they don't have enzymes in their body because of poor diet or whatever reason and they're taking these vitamins, yeah, they might not see results. So.